Recently, Apple uh, open source Swift. You can actually see the source code on GitHub these days. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's talk about Swift becoming a back-end language. I wonder what your thoughts are on, on that. And my caveat to that question is, will jobs kill PHP? <laughs> well, no. Uh, so all languages, whether it be Swift, PHP, any of them, they're all tools, right? They're all there to accomplish a task. Uh, a lot of the times you see arguments about you know, the creation of tools because it, it makes those who have used it, that, that language or the predecessors to that a little bit bitter that they, oh, we went through the trenches, we don't need this new thing. But in the end, they, they have to have their specific use. The, a good example of that is PHP, again, is the, sta the staple, it's 75% of the internet. But what, what's the reason for us to use any other language? Well, they have different mechanisms that they, we didn't have before. Like with Node, we have asynchronous uh, coding now. It's just, it's a new tool, it's a new thing that we can use, add to our disposal to accomplish a particular task. And I think that's the, well, it may not be specific to Swift, it, it's, it, if it serves a better purpose, if it does something better, I think you'll see people using it. And as far as what the legacy is to that, if it's completely you know, covered and done better in somewhere else, it will eventually fall out of favor. There's been languages in the past that we don't use anymore, but you're gonna still have people that, that know that language and that they'll still continue to use it and there'll always be legacy support for certain things because people don't like change. So it could be the next thing, but I don't think it's going to kill PHP, at least not right away.